Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons. Really? In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. In the last week, I had to convince four different people to dump their email and switch to Gmail. So I'll do it one last time for you. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lynda.com. I kid you not, sometimes real life serves as the inspiration for episodes we do on Geek Beat, and this is definitely the case. So today, I'm gonna convince you all to switch to Gmail if you aren't already using it. Inconceivable! And if you are, maybe just pick up a few tips and tricks. But before we get started, I wanna remind you that I used to be in the corporate world. By definition, that means I was a big Outlook user, and baby, was I good at it. I had every email I ever received or sent cataloged away in folders, embedded in folders, and it was organized to the max. There was just one problem. I still had to remember where I filed stuff away. So just think for a minute about this. When was the last time you needed to search for something and you just couldn't seem to find it? Now imagine never having to do that again, because with Gmail, you get the power of Google search built right into your mailbox. There are no folders, there is only search. Inconceivable! Right now, some of you are choking on that. You're thinking that I've actually lost my mind, which is true, but it has no bearing on this fact. You don't need folders ever again, because normally to find something, you'd first have to think about it, Hmm, where did I put that email about the Christmas party? After you think about it, you have to start looking through your folders. Hmm, which year was that? Did I file it under work folder or party folder? Meanwhile, back in Gmail land, you don't think about where you put it because you just type in the first thing that came to your mind, namely Christmas party. And if that comes back with too many results, then just put Christmas party in quotes and bingo or you can use and or or. Anyway, there it is, the email you're looking for. Every single time. I can't tell you how many hours a week this will save you, but trust me, you're gonna thank me for it. By the way, did I mention that you can do that searching through your email from anywhere on any device? Since the mail is sitting on Google servers in the cloud, you can read, delete, respond, or whatever to any message you have from any device, whether it's your laptop, your phone, your tablet. And as soon as you hop on another device, it's instantly updated. So your mail is no longer locked up on one computer somewhere like on a desktop inconceivable. Right now someone's saying, oh sure that sounds great, but I have like 50 years worth of emails sitting cataloged in my current email client. True, but you can literally transfer 100% of your existing email to Gmail. Just tell the Gmail server to check your other mailbox and bingo bango, it'll pull in 10 years of mail or whatever you have stored there. If your mail is all locked up on your hard drive, just Google how to transfer all your email to Gmail or check the show notes at geekbeat.tv forward slash 806. Inconceivable. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Speaking of Googling things, there's one thing better than Googling it. Lynda.coming it. <laughs> Lynda.com provides easy to follow video tutorials to help you learn software, business, creative skills, and more. Let me give you an idea of what I mean. Lynda.com has 487 courses about business alone. You may be like, hmm, 487 is good. But that is 487 business courses, which actually contains 21,688 video tutorials on just business. If you use Lynda.com, it's only a matter of time before someone tells you, truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going. Where was I? Best thing of all, you get a free week to gorge on your training when you sign up at lynda.com forward slash geekbeat. So what are you waiting for? Hop on it. While we're on the topic of business, those of you who run a small business might actually have multiple email addresses. So some of you have to log in and out of different email systems to check everything. Stop that. You can actually consolidate all of your emails so they come right into your Gmail box. 
and you can still tell where each one came from and respond from the correct address when you reply. Just use the settings, accounts, send as mail, send mail as option in Gmail. The easiest thing is just to set your domain emails to forward straight to Gmail. But even if you can't do that, just go into settings, accounts, and add your existing POP3 or IMAP email box so that Gmail checks your other mail server and pulls it in with all your other messages. Now, once they're in there, you might wanna set up an easy way to tell which account they came from. You can do that under settings, filters. At the bottom of the page, you see create a new filter and then just follow the wizard. In the to field, just put in one of your email addresses and then select create this filter. On the next screen, check the box that says apply the label. You can make a label that says something like work or home or geek beat rocks or whatever you want. At the bottom, check the box that says also apply filter to matching conversations and it will literally go through every email you have and apply that filter instantly when you hit create filter. Then to really make it pop, over in the sidebar list below the inbox, you'll see your filter. You just select the little drop down arrow and assign a color to the filter. Awesome, right? Oh, and if you click on the filter name over there, it'll bring up all the email for just that filter. The filter acts kind of like a virtual folder. Although remember, you don't care about folders anymore because you have search. Inconceivable. There's a lot more that's awesome about converting to Gmail. For example, big attachments work. I routinely send and receive 15 to 25 megabyte files. Gmail don't care. It's like a honey badger. Also, Gmail has some of the best spam and virus checking around, so it'll go through and filter all the stuff you have coming in and probably cut down your spam by like 95%. I maybe get two or three spams a day. Before Gmail, it was like a spam every five minutes or more. So that's where I'm gonna stop. If I didn't sell you on switching to Gmail yet, nothing will. But if I did, maybe email me to johnageekbeat.com TV with the subject, I switched to Gmail. I'll set up a filter so I don't miss it. <laughs> Hope that helped out and you guys stay tuned to Geek Beat for news, tips, and more. Thumbs up on YouTube. I'm John P. See you next time. <laughs>